Hi guys, it's Kay Comer in here with you, and I thought I would just do a quick kind of flip through with these books. I've had so many comments and even private messages on Facebook about different things that um, I'm doing with these books. So um, this was an order, a lady ordered two, and um, they are totally homemade from scratch. And so as you can see, I've got just a little bit difference in the size here, and I didn't even notice that until just now. I thought I measured them. But... Um, the base of the books are just made out of uh, black cardstock, folded in half, eight and a half by 11, I think it is, sheet of paper, folded in half, and then torn around the edges to give this rough, rough look. And then I sand it and stain it and put the images on it. This one, I did a quick video, and it's on my YouTube channel um, just a few days ago before I started this other one. Uh, this one is for a lady's son. So uh, this is the last one I've done, and I tried to make it just a little bit more masculine. So we'll go through this one first. And these rags are just uh, dish towels, just plain old white dish towels. You buy them in a package at uh, Walmart, and um, I just uh, tea dye them and uh, scorch them with the iron and all that, and that's what I use. And when you tear the uh, strips for whatever you want to use, you get these strings so a lot of the little goofy stuff that I'm using, um, I sometimes use, um, what is it called, creepy cloth. But sometimes I just gather up a bunch of these old strings. I keep the strings even from where you're tying, tearing, uh, you know, kind of clearing the sides a little bit. You can't clear them totally. But I just keep wads of that um, stuff. And it, I just, um, I spritz it with tea, uh, dry it, fluff it, and put it under some of the flowers and buttons and different things in the book. Okay. So here we go. The reason the edges of this are so dark on all of the pages is because I use the Tim Holtz ink and I use it very heavily. And that's why I had asked, had asked the question that brought all the attention to these books. Because uh, my stain doesn't seem like it lasts very long. But, um, you know, maybe it is because I'm using it so heavily. I don't know. I use a lot of stain, so I don't know. The inside of this book is some homemade paper and I've just... Uh, uh, stained heavily over that. This is the Lord's Prayer. These little words are just, uh, I don't buy words. I type a bunch of words on a piece of paper, leave some space in between. Um, I spritz the paper first with tea, and then I just cut out the little words and uh, distress around the words. So this is just a doily. Uh, oh, they come in packages at Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree and, and that. This right here is where I made a mistake after I already had this in there and it comes out the other side in the back somewhere. Uh, after I had it in there though, I accidentally tore the corner. So I just put a piece of uh, lace there, a pin in it, some buttons, and uh, it looks like it's supposed to be that way. This is the Holy Bible. This is some other little words that I just cut out of. Uh, this is uh, uh, out of the paper. This is just the plain old heavy cord, uh, card stock that I've just uh, stained so heavily. And I tear a lot of my edges, uh, my edges instead of cut them because um, uh, it just, I like the look. I just, I'm 72 years old and I like the old look. I'm not into pink and purple and all that. And I know many, many people are and that's okay. But, uh, my books started out to be uh, uh, books that were supposedly found, and this is a story I told in the very first video, and you'll have to subscribe to my channel to get all those stories and stuff, but I told in the very first video, these are going to be books that you are walking in a country, um, in an old woods in the country, and a, on a deserted trail, and you come up on this cabin that looks like it's been deserted for years and years, you step on the old creaky porch and open the door, and look in, and it's the old home place of an old grandma and grandpa, and nobody's lived there for decades. So you look across the room, and there's an old creaky uh, rocker in the corner, and there's a stack of books beside that chair, and they are grandma's books. So you walk over and start looking at the books, and that's the books that I've uh, been making. Uh, most of them look like they are authentically from, I say 1942, from an old grandma in 1942, and I even did one that was made by supposedly made by her grandma in 19, in, uh, 1880. And I put sticks down the rim of the book. I absolutely love that book. And it just had, uh, uh, I just do everything in there. Recipes in them. Uh, some of them are like old scrapbooks. They're old stories and stuff that grandma has written and uh, uh, just all kinds of things. But uh, oops, there's one I didn't uh, 
put anywhere. Okay. Oh, I, I did put it there. I had two. Okay. Uh, that's just a other side of a heart doily. The other side comes out back in the book somewhere, and I get those at the Dollar Tree. Some more of those words. Um, this book over here is mostly white, uh, or uh, vintage white, whatever. Uh, but this one was going to be for a man, a woman's uh, grown son. So I wanted to make it a little bit more masculine. So I put some checks and stuff in there to, to do that. And that's just that check fabric from Hobby Lobby. Um, let's see. Um, this is just all cardstock. That's some of that uh, fabric with the print on it. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. Um, these strips, I put a strip down between every page just because I like the look of it hanging out the top and the bottom. And it kind of separates the pages. Um, if you have any mistakes in there, <laughs> it covers them up. Uh, this is a half of a doily. The other half is over here in this book. And um, I just put some, um, I don't know if that's creepy cloth. I can't remember if it's just the strings off of these old rags. But that's what that is. Uh, inside, just a big old quote. The best things in life are the people we love, the places we've been, and the memories that we've made along the way. And then I just, I love the word love. And you will find the word love in all of my books. Love or love one another or just whatever. This is another um end table scarf an old vintage end table scarf and the other half of it is in the book over there it says above all else love each other deeply spread love everywhere we go that's what we're supposed to do uh, this is the page with two pockets in it and these all of these little images are 1950s images from church uh, families in church families praying around the kitchen table uh and they're distressed very heavily. There's a paper doily behind there. This is some more of that fabric from Hobby Lobby. This is some creepy cloth or maybe some of that string off of the rags. I can't remember. Uh, they wanted Old Country Church books. Both of them wanted Old Country Church. And they had just ordered two. Uh, these are two friends, uh, local friends. And uh, they had just ordered two uh, Grandma Prayer Journals. And so then they decided they wanted some with Old Country Churches because they had seen the little mini uh, Old Country Church books that I had done. So they wanted a big, thick one. So that's what we've got here. Uh, this is the old church. I've used this in all of my um, uh, spiritual type books, prayer journals and all that. I love that church, and I have tried to research that church, and now I forget that it's either in Minnesota or Wisconsin. <laughs> and I told in the last video, do not be surprised if you do not see a video from me on... Um, YouTube or my Facebook channel and my husband and I are visiting this lane because that is a real church somewhere and I just feel like I have to walk down that lane and look in that old deserted church if it's still there and we're retired and we can do that <laughs> this is an envelope and um, this one has one in it too but it just doesn't have the checks and stuff on it it's more feminine um, but this will have little readings and things in it. And if the, each one of them wants to tuck some in, something in there, because I think these are Christmas gifts. So if they want to tuck a note in there, they can also do that. And I'm not going to get into it right now because I'm going to try to get this done. But um, this is scripture. It's actually scripture. The base of the envelope is made and torn around the edges. It's made out of homemade paper. Um, and then I just tore some scripture um, distressed around that tore some scripture and put up here on the flap but then I covered too much of it with the fabric and you can't hardly tell it's there okay so let's see over here this is another old country church I love this old country church it says Christian church up there and this is just some creepy cloth or some rag off of the uh, strings off of the rags I'm not sure love and a button but uh, this page is covered with fabric um, I do a lot of fabric an awful lot of fabric maybe more fabric than I do cover the pages with um, paper uh, because I just love the fabric um, this is just a little quote to the other side of that um, doily that I showed you way back there. This is a circle, and I can't remember the lady's name, um, but it's a friend here on uh, um, Friendly Junk Journal People, and uh, she did some circles the other day, and I commented on it, and I said, I'm going to have to get me one of those paper punches, and she said, I just cut these out. I didn't have a paper punch, so I took a glass and made me a whole bunch of circles, and this is scripture pages in the back, uh, but it can be anything. I use... Uh, all kind of old, old books and, and cut pages and things out to use four pages or just whatever. So that's what that is. Put a punch up there and a bow up there. Uh, put a uh, uh, little bit of the fabric and a button there. And this is an old, old country church to wrap it all up. It says, love always and love lifted me. 
And then I used a lot of burlap in this because this is for a grown man and I didn't want it to be quite as frilly as the other one was. This is the back and it's just sanded and stained and, tear and torn and um, that's it. Let me give you a quick peep into this one. I already did the video on this one. But just to show you the difference, um, there isn't a whole lot of difference, except this one maybe is just a little bit more feminine. This page is a little bit wider. I didn't distress quite as heavily on that one, uh, but it has almost the very same thing, and it has readings in the little pockets, and um, let's see, above all else, love one another. Love, love, love that quote. Love these old doilies. Love to use these old doilies and table co covers and all that, okay, tablecloths. Uh, old time religion. This has grown up in the 50s, the storybook era. I was born in 1946, and so uh, the late 40s and the 50s were my childhood years, and oh my goodness, the memories I have of those years. Uh, and I know they were hard times for most families back then, but I love that era. Now, this is the other envelope that is just a little bit more feminine, and it has a a uh, little dogwood blossom on there, and then uh, she has some tucks and things in there, uh, readings. Um, and there's just all kinds of things. I can't even remember what I put in there. Um, if Jesus came to your house, I think that's in there. If Jesus came to your house, I wonder what you'd do. Well, if he came unexpectedly, you know, um, would you be ready? So uh, it's just a great, great reading. Uh, this is that old, same old church that I showed you in the other book. This is the little circle that I put on this one and uh, some roses back here. The old country church to wrap, uh, to wrap the book up and it says love always, the burlap in this one. But uh, this one doesn't have the checks and all that in it. It has more lace and uh, more flowers and uh, I've got to go through it and get the, the uh, glue strings out of it because I've got to, um, I'm going to take them to church this morning and deliver them. Uh, but that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask, uh, private message me or whatever. Um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I, I hope to do some tutorial videos after Christmas. It's been so hectic, I just haven't had a chance. But um, I hope to do that. Uh, uh, anyway, I, I invite you to join my Facebook page. I tell stories on my Facebook page, sometimes about junk journals. It could be about anything. Um, I've made citizens arrests, so I, it, it, the story could be about anything. Um, but I invite you to join me there, and the link will be below for that. It's just Kay Comer on Facebook. Um, and I uh, have a, a Facebook page for the junk journals from Grandma, uh, junk journals from Grandma with love. And uh, that's where I kind of update everybody on what's coming up, what's on my workstation table and this and that. So uh, you get a lot of information there. So come and join us. Um, I'll have some tutorials maybe after the first of the year. But right now I've got three more mini books to finish up and then I'm wrapping it up till after Christmas. But I just wanted to show this because the outside of this book is nothing more than cardstock paper. Uh, now, sometimes I use fabric. I love to use fabric, and I, I really tea dye it heavy and scorch it with the iron and all that. But I love the rags coming out the top, and I've said that's going to be my signature. All the books are going to have rags <laughs> between all the pages. Okay, that's it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to and kind of keep up with what's going on. Um, I've been doing these since um, the late 80s. Um, I got started when a lady that just called herself Sark, S-A-R-K, came out with her first book, and her book just inspired me so much to start doing things with words and quotes and, and just messy pages and and that, and I started out with pages and went to books, and I've been doing these ever since, So, uh, but I just got into the real grungy vintage look the first of this year when I uh, joined this group and saw how some of them oh before mine were just shabby chic just cutesy and I'm really not that into cutesy but I love to make in the books but I am in love with this vintage look and I am in love with these grandma books and and that's what we're going to have after the first of the year little books that look like you were walking through that woods and you went down that lane and you walked up on that porch and you saw those old books sitting by that rocking chair and they were grandma's books from 1942 and maybe some of them are going to be grandma's grandma's books from the 1880s. So stay tuned. No telling what's coming up. You never know what to expect out of me. Uh, uh, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.